It's for my new chick try and get fit. Say she too thick. Ain't no such thing as too thick. What you wanna be a too big? Hi loves, welcome back to the channel. I don't know what my obsession is with pink. Like I have on a pink shirt, on a pink couch, in a pop of pink room. But today is going to be a she and try on along with a mini review of this hair. So um she and sent over some great pieces I have about I'm going to guesstimate about seven pieces and about three pairs of shoes, I believe. And um, yes, the shoes are amazing. So I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. But I want to talk about this hair for a couple of minutes. This hair is from VR Best. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It's really pretty. It's like this mint green color. And this probably will be like a color in my home. Not soon. I'm not going to redecorate anytime soon. I just did the apartment tour, y'all. But <laughs> I will be, you know, incorporating this color. Anywho, so I have some Peruvian straight. When I tell you guys this hair is so silky, so straight, and so pretty, like, I don't, I don't even know where to start. Like, I feel like I'm not wearing anything on my head, but I know it's there, you know, because I feel it. But this hair is so pretty and so lightweight. I only used two and a half bundles because I wanted it to be um, a natural looking unit. Um, and this honestly looks like, I don't know, a sew-in. Like, <laughs> I really like this wig and I feel like, you know, I'm getting so much better. I'm just like, I had to test the waters and see what worked for me. So I have in two and a half bundles, a 22 inch, a 20 inch, and then an 18 inch along with a 16 inch closure yes this is only a closure not even a frontal so um with this closure i did bleach the knots and for from now on i think i'm going to do that for all of my units because it just looks way better when you bleach the knots um so that's really all i did was bleach the knots i did pluck out a little bit of hairs and that was pretty much it like this unit was very effortless to make very easy to make um but yes i love it so much and this hair is just really gorgeous when i pulled the hair out i was like this is not a lot of hair on this bundle. Um, this is just like, they cheating me. <laughs> they cheating me. And I was like, this probably isn't even going to make a full wig. And I was looking at all three bundles. But the thing was, it was like so silky that it didn't look like a lot of hair. But um, it turned out I didn't even need three bundles. I used like two and not even a half really. But just two and some change, right? So this is like a natural 1B color. It's not... Um, you know jet black or anything like that and what i want to try is some jet black hair so i think one time i am going to either rinse or dye some hair jet black and yeah but look at that and if you're wondering how i install my units i will have a separate video coming up next the only thing is you see that like it looks like it's thinning out but that just looks a little more natural to me but that's just because the closure is 16 inches and then the rest of the hair is like 18, 20, and 22. Um, so it gives it a nice layering effect. Like I said, it looks pretty natural. The density um, is pretty good. And that layering effect, when you have layered bundles, it just gives it a more realistic look rather than having all 20 inch or all, you know, 22 inch. So yeah, this looks really good. Like I am very impressed. <laughs> um, Again, this is VR Best Peruvian Straight Hair. I'll have a whole video coming on how I um, installed this unit and it's really simple. Just my wig cap, Gorilla Snot, put on a unit and that's pretty much it. I didn't have to do much, which I like an effortless unit. So let's go ahead and get into the try on haul. This first pair of sandals looks like this. I love it. Like I love this sandal. One is very comfortable. My foot isn't I don't want to say it's average and I don't want to say like because I'm not average you know I'm plus size so I do have meat everywhere including my foot but technically I don't wear like wide width shoes I guess I can wear some average or medium sized shoes as far as the width but um yeah I was really surprised I didn't know how these would fit or if I would be able to fit them but they fit really perfectly and I even had like some wiggle room up here I just thought it wouldn't be but um yeah, I like the fact that it has all three tones because then you can like mix and match with your jewelry or play around with your jewelry. The next shoe, I love, I live for this shoe right here. Um, if you know me, if you've been watching my hauls for a minute, you know I had some of these last season or last summer and um, not this color. So I was happy when I found this color because I've been loving like mustard, yellow, like, I've been loving stuff like this, even orange lately. I have an orange wig I'm about to put on, y'all. <laughs> but, um, again, they fit really nicely. I just didn't think they would fit. I thought they would be too tight on my foot, but they fit really nicely. And they're really comfortable. And they're actually, 
these first one, the brand name is Bamboo. And if you shop at like Rainbow, Payless or something like that, you will see Bamboo shoes in those stores. And also like these mainstream stores, like I think GS might have some Bamboo shoes. But other stores also carry Bamboo. So um, yeah, I was surprised to see that when I got it in the box from Shein. So then, like I said, I love these as well. I love the color and yeah, when you put your foot in there, it's just so cute, y'all. And it fits really comfortably. And the brand, the brand for this one is Sunny Feet. I got this in a nine and I got these in a nine as well. Last shoe I have, and then we're gonna try on some dresses and some shirts, um, is this small heel and I love, this is by Cupid. And you know, Cupid is also um, a brand that we see in Payless and stuff like that in Rainbow, so yeah. Uh, these are also a nine and they are like a short heel and I love a heel like this because it's really comfortable to walk in Especially as a plus size when you got more weight on you You definitely need some support so you have a chunky heel and it's not too far off the ground So it's very comfortable and sturdy to walk in um, a thick ankle band and uh, the, It does have like a little bit of elastic to it, but it's not really stretchy But it fits like I said really nicely and it's cloth and it's like this cute print. It's cream and navy. So, yeah, I love this beige and navy. And it just looks like that. So, those are the three shoes I have from Shein. Let's jump into the try-on. It will be like a live style try-on. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Hi, loves. So, here is the try-on portion. Now, this first dress is like this white, off-the-shoulder, roughly dress, um, floral pattern, as you can see. And, um... I really like it. I really like it more than what I thought I would like. And I'm looking at the viewfinder, which is all the way over there. So <laughs> bear with me if I'm like squinting or something. But I really like this dress. I like the way it fits. The material is way thicker than what I thought it would be. It's like a thick material. Um, As far as it being see-through, I'm not really sure. It doesn't really look see-through back here. I do have on black underwear, so that's probably why. But what I do like about this is two layers of ruffles. And for the girls who are like, I just cannot get away without a bra, this is like really, not firm, but <laughs> really fitted up here. And then you have this extra layer of ruffles, so it's kind of distracting away from the no bra look, right? And then it's like, it's off the shoulder, but it has like a sleeve, you know, an armhole that you can put your arm through which makes it a lot easier and it does make the sleeve stay off. So this is what the back looks like. I love the shape it gives. It gives a really nice shape. So then we have this dress right here, which drove the brightness up like crazy. But um, this is like a little black, high, low, I don't really know. Got the mesh going on. And usually with a dress like this, I'll be like, okay, we got a ruffle bottom, we got the mesh, the tie, it doesn't tie around the neck, but it snaps around the neck. So we got a little bit going on, and usually I'm not too for that, but I don't know. It looks okay. <laughs> it's not really my favorite black dress. Um, I can do without it, so... It gives a different shape, and I had something similar, like the skirt portion of it. Um, the bottom portion, like a mauve skirt from um, Shop Lace and Leopard. So it's, I get that shape at the bottom, but I don't know if I like the high, low of it. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then, it just does nothing for this part right here. So, yeah. That's this dress. So now that the brightness is back down, <laughs> I love this dress. And I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but this is definitely that dress that you can throw on with like a cognac color sandal, a tan sandal. And it's like just really free flowing, free going. Like you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to put on a Spanx. So, oh, I got to put on like, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's very effortless. And I love a good effortless dress, which is why I kind of love my um, FN Peppy Love dress because I don't have to do much with it. So yeah, I really love this dress. I love the color and yeah, I don't know. I really like this. Um, and also, for those who don't really like to show their arms and stuff like that, this is good because it's long sleeve, but it's very, very lightweight. The material is really thin, but not see-through thin. Like you don't see my bra, I have on a black bra. It's not strapless, I just pulled the straps down um, and it's 
from Adore, Adore Me. So, yeah, I know a lot of people always ask. Um, but, yeah, I really love this dress. Like, it's so pretty to me. I, don't, I like it with the straight hair and some sandals. And you don't have to worry about shapewear. This is it. And peep that. It doesn't go too high up in the back. Because, you know, sometimes when you have, like, dresses like this, the front is low, but then your butt kind of brings it up. Now, I don't feel like I'm too exposed back there, but I would definitely wear some shorts just because, you know, some creeps out there, y'all. So, this is the back of the dress. I really like this. Like, I need to post a Snapchat picture right now. So pretty. Okay, so this shirt is just like a regular t-shirt. Um, These jeans are old navy. I'm going to do a whole haul on that next. I have about five, six pair of jeans from there. So that's a different video. Um, But this shirt is just like um a subtle, it's like subtle, you know, subtle. Like <laughs> it's just a t-shirt. Um, Some color blocking with the navy sleeve and then like a really pale blue sleeve and then the white. For this part, it's really basic. Um, it's really not much to say about it. So, that's that. And these are good for those days. You just want to put on a pair of jeans and a shirt, sneakers or sandals, and keep it moving. So, yeah, really nothing much to say about this shirt right here. So, then we have this t-shirt. Apparently, when I put on black, the room brightens up. Um, this, I'm so upset because I really love this shirt, first of all. But this rose gold painting... I wanted it to have this figure on it, but I couldn't remember for the life of me where I saw this figure. So, I finally got the shirt in the mail a couple months ago, and I was like, that's where the figure came from. So, it's a um, really nice length shirt if you are very, you know, more modest and want to cover back there. It does come to a nice length back there, but you know me, um, I don't really like to pull my shirts down there. Like, it's just not my style, but... Um, I'm going to have a lot of room in this shirt. It's just really comfortable. And then I just like this little, it's like art on the front. I'm um, an abstract figure of a face. I just really like it. It's really cute. Um, so that's why I like this shirt. Just a little tee that I can throw on either around the house or run an errand. Something really quick. Going to the store. Not doing too much. Then this next top, I don't know, but on the site, I like fell in love with it for some reason. It does come with a belt. Does it have loops? No loops, but... But I love the color of this. I think it's really cute. Um, it's like a cropped top, but not like all the way up here cropped. Like, it's just not a full length shirt. So, that's the only thing I feel like... One part is tucked in back here. But yeah, I think this is like a really simple, fun, and pretty shirt. I love the ruffle sleeve detail. Like the ruffle on the sleeve makes it like kind of like a bell, but not really. Um, like a subtle bell, I guess. And then it's like semi-peplum, but not, you know, too out there with the peplum. Um, it's not structured at all. And it's just like really soft and very stretchy. And... I think this is something I could wear even in the summer, especially the spring, but even in the summer because I'm not too hot in it. And yeah, this is what that looks like. I really like this for some reason. Like I said, it's cropped up, um, so it doesn't uh, come down low in the back. But I like this. It's really pretty. I feel like real girly in this, you know? 